I'd recently bought a pair of fake AirPods from Wish. <laughs> totally the wrong ears. Here's the thing. What on earth were you thinking? Buying fake AirPods from Wish. There's a reason why the legitimate ones are so expensive and it's because you pay for the quality. Well, when I see a pair of AirPods for £10, including postage and packing, questions have to be asked. Like, are they actually any good? Well, we're gonna find out, friends. Because guess what? They arrived. And you're gonna open them along with me. Just to see how utterly crap these things really are. They were a whole £8, plus £2 postage. And just for clarification, it does actually say on there, somewhere, there you go, £8. I'm going to see how utterly redonkulous these things are. First of all, we need to find a knife. Haha, <laughs> that'll probably do it. We are going to open these, and apologies for the lighting, but in case you hadn't realised, I'm not actually that much of a YouTuber. Well, yet. I'm working on it. So, as a result, I try my hardest, but don't expect miracles. Ugh. We have these little fellows. So, these are i12 TWS AirPod things, and it's got written on it TWS True Wireless Stereo i12 Auto Power On Auto Pairing 5.0 with upgrade written on the front in a nice little shiny star amazing so let's have a look oh there's more jargon on the side so we've got on the side here auto power on auto pairing auto touch using siri open the lip and connect oh my life automatically that is some fantastic english right there Okay, so let's get to the business end. So, oh yeah, of course. I ordered black ones because, you know, why not? Ooh. Oh. Do you know what? These actually, I mean, I haven't even got out of the wrapper yet. And this, this is already giving me a semi. Let, let's have a look. Oh, it feels so nice. Oh, God. Seriously, Simo, you couldn't fight your way out of a crisp packet. Okay, so I went for black because in the highly unlikely event that these are actually any good, they, they, they look they look pretty cool, actually. They actually look relatively high quality, which for something that only cost me £10 and came from Wish is already a bonus. Here we have the little casey thing. Uh, this is a rechargeable case. It's not the wireless recharging one. Hate to break it to you because those were a little bit more expensive, more than what I'm willing to pay for a YouTube video anyway. We've got these things here, so let's open them up and bam! Look at the nice little black AirPods in their nice little casey wasey. Shall I hold it up to this camera so you can oh look at that. Absolutely no chance of autofocus there. They're, they're actually <laughs> choking aside. They look pretty awesome and I so wish Apple did them in black because that's amazing. In terms of the little flippy thing because people like to do this to annoy everybody and I, I know i'm one of those people um this actually feels pretty good so let's take them out it's making a noise i think it's saying it's connecting so they've got a really tiny little flashing red and uh blue light in there which i've seen some other fake ones and they flash and they look horrific because they're actually shining through the plastic but this actually looks pretty cool we've got those the case doesn't feel as heavy as an Apple case. That, that quality is missing, but it, it, it's already, you know, I haven't heard them yet. They're probably going to be rubbish. But in terms of actually looking at them, I'm so far pretty impressed. It would be unfair of me to not compare these to the legitimate article. So bear with, and I'm, I'm gonna get some real AirPods. Ow myself with a mouse i have some legitimate airpods these are actual real actual apple airpods i'm not taking it out of the little rubber case because once it comes out of there it's it's never going back it takes far too long but anyway i am going to remove my airpods 
and I am going to put them side by side to the fake ones and do you know what I'm, I'm gonna have to do it with my hand because it goes back to the whole I'm not a real YouTuber thing yet and therefore I don't have the right gear and the right setup but anyway so we have here the black one is the fake and the white one is the real and <laughs> There is not a huge amount of difference there. The black one is ever so slightly thicker. Ooh, uh. But other than that, not a huge amount of difference. Are they even the same? Okay, so ever so slightly longer than the real ones. Proof of the pudding is in the eating. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to eat the AirPods. But I am going to pair them and I am going to get them set up. I'm going to go and grab my iPad now because my phone is as flat as a witch's. I have my trusty old iPad here. Um, and so what we're going to do is attempt to get these to pair. That, that could be fun. Hello? That's really irritating because it just came up with a message saying, You can pair your AirPods. And... So far, no good. Um, ah, let's put these back in. Let's put these back in here. Okay. What happens now? Hello? Well, this is embarrassing. The frustrating thing is they actually... It popped up with a little dialog box. Literally two minutes ago. And, and yet now it's just... Computer says no. What, do you hold the button down? I should probably read the instructions. But then again, they're probably really poorly translated. So, do you know what? I'm, I'm going... I'm going to... Yeah. Well, this is going well. Okay. Hey! So, we've actually got a dialogue box. The actual real dialogue box. It's, it's saying, do you want to connect to your AirPods? So, I'm going to click on connect. And it's connecting, or doing something at least anyway. Oh, wow, look at that! i12. AirPods have 82% battery and the case has 100 so what? Okay, so now we need to test the audio quality. I mean, so far, so good. Let's pop them in and, and see. <laughs> totally the wrong ears. Oh. Okay, so one tap plays. Oh no, okay. One tap. One tap on this ear plays. One tap on that ear stops and then double tap. Let's turn the volume down, other ear, turning the volume up. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, they're still playing. Stop, stop. So they've got no in-ear detection like the legitimate ones, which means that when you take them out of the ear, they still play. But clearly you guys want to know what the sound quality is like. I'm going to be brutally honest here. They aren't the worst headphones I've had in my Legos. They're also not the greatest. I am a little bit spoiled because I have owned the AirPods for a while. So they, they are literally the only headphones that I use. It is a little bit unfair to compare a £10 product to an £140 product. That would be really, really silly. Is there that much of a difference? I mean, if I didn't own the original AirPods, I would think that they're all right. <laughs> that's the scariest thing they actually they're not as good as real legitimate airpods they don't sound too bad apparently it has all of the stuff that you know oh okay they're, they're randomly playing again and i haven't even put them in my ears the only thing i will say is that unfortunately the finish on these is a matte finish when you have these stuck in your lug holes and you take them out they are covered in a lovely film of oil and other bodily fluids. Mm, it's not it's not particularly what you want to see when you're taking your headphone out your ear, but can't believe I'm showing you guys my inner juices. Am I impressed? <laughs> for, <laughs> for 10 quid, yeah, I am actually really impressed. They are far greater than I expected. As I said, they're not as good as the real ones, but then again, the real ones are 140 quid. So would I recommend them? Again, if you've never owned a pair of legitimate Apple AirPods, then why wouldn't you? You know, there are better ones out there, apparently. You can spend £50 on a pair of AirPods, um, and apparently they do sound as good as a legitimate thing. And these are £10, and they 
are pretty close to the legitimate thing so yeah actually i'm i'm quite quite surprised also as well in black how cool do they look in black they look incredible in black they really do i really wish apple would do these in black but yeah so there you go didn't turn out anything like i was expecting it to turn out i was expecting these to be utter junk <laughs> and me to just mock them and then throw them in a bin at the end of it but no actually i am pleasantly surprised so thanks for joining me on this somewhat random video but you know i go on wish quite a lot i laugh at products on wish and i kind of <laughs> shrugged my shoulders at these and went yeah right like they're gonna be any good and surprisingly they actually are so thanks for joining me if you like this video you know what to do subscribe to it give me a like all the regular nonsense thanks for watching and until next time take it easy